So, the SCP Foundation loves to keep it secrets, but they're also obsessed with uncovering many secrets about the world we live in. Now, imagine what the reaction might have been to discovering the existence of an IKEA furniture store whose interior is speculated to be infinitely large. Naturally, the Foundation sent in an MTF squad to sort of figure out what's going on with the anomaly when it was first discovered, and they immediately went MIA. From that point on, the perimeter of the store was locked down, and only the occasional drone was permitted to enter uh, in order to scout out the expanse of the IKEA store. When staff were then assigned to this site, it sort of was a dead end for their careers. It sort of was just monitoring the store and making sure that nobody got too close. Too much risk for too large a loss of resources to send too much into the store itself. Containment was fairly easy to establish, just amnesticize anyone who walked up and turn them back the way they came. So employees were just left to be a bit curious about everything going on within, only getting enough information from the drones they sent in. Martha is one particular SCP employee who has been assigned to monitor SCP-3008, and Martha has been monitoring 3008 for about as long as anyone else who's been assigned to here. Some of the junior researchers speculate she asked one too many questions and was given a promotion to a senior researcher here or something along those lines. Others say she was just an IKEA employee they brought on as an informant when establishing containment. More and more rumors claim she is the lone survivor of the first squad sent into the IKEA. And there's even a few whisperings that she's one of the O5s or the administrator. Who knows which one is true, though? She knows all about different tribes and sections of the IKEA just because of the information they'd be able to gather from different drones, so everyone just sort of assumes she must be some person of importance. Whatever she may be, no one can ever really figure out because they can't hold a conversation long enough with her to figure it out. She's just sort of weird. Tosh, would you like to describe Martha a little bit further for us? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, Martha Red is, I would say, picture the, you know, neurotic, you know, thin boned, sharp featured uh, woman that you'd see working like a desk job her entire life. And, uh, it, you know, just a mane of wild hair that she kind of ties back. It's just, it's just a big curly like mess. And, uh, and she has these huge, round rimmed uh glasses and stuff i uh, dr octavia from uh spider verse i think is a good uh visual comparison just like way more nervous <laughs> <laughs> and less uh seemingly less you know confident in uh you know she's just she's just a bit she's just a bit creepy to be around i guess you know like <laughs> <laughs> cool uh so Usually, day-to-day, -day, there's not a whole lot going on here at uh, SCP-3008's containment, uh, but eventually there came a day when there was something that got to happen. Apparently, some immortal D-class idiot that lost his memory while inside of the infinite IKEA while trying to re retrieve a senior researcher's clipboard or something also lost the teleporting staple gun that the Foundation gave to him. Hmm... So now a few MTF, some researchers, and uh, Martha are prepping to send in a weaponized drone into the infinite Ikea in order to cause said D-class to reset his immortal uh, powers <laughs> so that he regains his memory and gets out of there. So at the warehouse entrance door, uh, sort of like the loading dock area for uh, the Ikea, there's a set of like garage type doors that you can open there to get into the store itself. Uh, and it opens directly to the warehouse section of the infinite Ikea where the D class is supposedly located. Mm. Martha, you're working on a tracker currently uh, that has the last known location of the uh, staple gun teleporter object thing, uh, as well as the last known location of the D class. And it should theoretically also be able to allow the drone to backtrack should anything bad happen. So the 
drone will be able to return to the entrance and hopefully it won't have relocated by the time that the drone gets far enough away from it. So you are prepping to attach this to the drone when something happens that has not occurred for a very long time while the infinite Ikea has been monitored. Someone exits the infinite Ikea. Ah. From uh, the footage you've seen of the drones over the years uh, that you sent into the store, uh, you believe this tribes person to be from the checkout regions mm. they are running towards uh you all out here on the outside of the store uh your fellow employees uh are not allowed too much time to discuss and figure out what is going on with this person uh, because they are quickly subdued before they are able to exit the store by several ikea employees You've seen them before, these IKEA employees. You know that there's something wrong with them. They are not humans. They are ah. either very small or very hulking creatures that wear the IKEA employee outfit, but don't actually have faces or discernible features. Uh, how? Sorry, how does this differ from actual IKEA? I'm not sure. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're you're correct. Uh but these employees are modified actually. Uh they are moving faster than you've seen in footage before and they have blades affixed to their arms. They're not saying their signature the store is closed, go home when uh the lights are off inside of the IKEA and nighttime has set in. They are saying search and destroy. One is wearing a SCP Foundation Standard Issue MTF Bulletproof Vest. Okay. They are uh, now exiting and hurrying towards the MTF that have started firing upon uh, the employees that are rushing towards them. Okay. You are uh, off to the side in like a research tent that's been set up uh, with a computer and everything so that you can get the tracker prepared. You have the tracker in hand, and the drone is closer to the entrance and has not yet been released. What would you uh, try to do in this situation? So, I mean, obviously, I mean, our job is to get the drone going. This is uh, this is something new, uh, certainly interesting and amusing, but we've got a job to do here. So... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one one other thing I, I'll say for you real quick, too, is about Martha. Martha's character uh, is also a bit defined by what her uh, superiors are like. She has very unnecessarily strict superiors who sort of try to push her around and do unnecessary tasks. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been sort of forced into the desk position that she's in, not necessarily like wantingly to, to be doing what she's been doing. Yeah. Um and when you were sent to go do this, you hear the uh voice of your superior's echo in your head. Your top priority is the retrieval of the lost foundation property. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I think that uh <laughs> Martha's just going to like kind of push her glasses up on her nose a little bit higher and just kind of like nod as she sees <laughs> the uh chaos going down. She's like well, that's now. And then she's going to turn and continue attaching the tracker. <laughs> they've, they've got it. I'm sure they're fine. So uh, the MTF go ahead and start clashing with the employees there. Um, a few of the IKEA employees go down and uh, the MTF are able to pretty well hold them off, but they're starting to uh, be pushed back a bit. And one of the IKEA employees uh, is grabbing the drone. Okay, that ain't happening. No, 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 no. That's mm -mm. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm uh, assuming. Do I have like my you know weapons and equipment on me at this time, or is it like sure? I I, I would nearby? think that you're pretty familiar with uh, the danger that the IKEA store can pose. Even though the chances mm -hmm. of anything coming out is extremely unlikely, it's not unheard of. Okay. I feel like Martha just sees these, uh, the IKEA employees, they're just, they're part of the store. 
they're you know they're not necessarily i don't know how to put it but like yeah um how how is this thing attacking the drone is it just like you know clawing at it biting at it like is it feral or so it's not attacking it as you watch it run up to it uh it actually grabs onto it and starts to double back into the store okay no 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 i need that um shit martha's gonna just kind of squint this is surprising i feel uh and uh she's gonna pull the axe off of her uh the back of her belt and uh take aim (laughs) all right uh go ahead i i assume you're trying to chuck this at the ikea employee then i would like to throw an axe at the ikea employee yes perfect go ahead and roll uh to kick some ass then okay so you will add your tough which is plus one Okay, so 1d6 plus uh, one. 2d6. Oh, 2d6. Okay, well, that first one was a four, and then a five. Damn, okay. Ooh, okay, so uh, that would be a 10. That's yeah. a uh, complete success. You uh, <laughs> chuck this axe. Uh, it does several spins in the air. You got uh, some professional axe throwing training from... Uh... <laughs> I could plug in Eric here, because he actually has worked... <laughs> at like an axe yeah. throwing place before you went to new york That's... one time and went to this really cool axe throwing place met this guy uh he talked about like some weird store that he runs on etsy called like toad's king studios or something but yeah you learned <laughs> to throw some axes there <laughs> um uh you hit it square in the back of the head uh it was wearing a bulletproof vest uh so you completely avoid it um and it falls to the ground defeated uh the mtf are uh trying to push back some of the other ikea employees that have gone straight for them uh they are starting to be pushed back further and another one of the employees is now heading for the drone <laughs> yeah all right so <laughs> we're like well clearly i'm not getting any work done today so and she's going to pull out her <laughs> Uh, very. She's yeah. She's gonna start uh, jumping into combat and assisting uh, the rest of the team. Okay. Um. So she'll she'll. Uh, do I have one throwing axe or two? I can't remember. But uh, if I also have throwing knives, so she's just going to be readying herself and approaching that <laughs> new employee that's coming her way. Okay. I think as you prepare to start facing these employees here it was that sort of a a correct summation of the fact that martha has been sort of stuck at a desk for a while and maybe wants a little bit more adventure i mean yeah i think it's also as as you've said her bosses are pretty uh they're kind of pains in the ass so she's you know like okay okay i have to follow these rules you have to be so strict about it i'm I'm just gonna do my job. Okay, well now, if my the source of my job is trying to get uh, drug into the store, oh dear. So it, it, yeah, if you are sort of like uh, <laughs> feeling some adventure, then I will say that that yeah. I, other IKEA employee, instead of trying to grab and take the drone, is going to just stab it. And now you don't have a drone to send into the store, but oh. you do have a tracker in your hand. And I mean. Your bosses did say at any cost you need to get the SCP Foundation's resources back. And, I mean, he didn't necessarily say it needed to just be the drone and that you couldn't go in. Well, I mean, I guess uh, guess it's time to do things analog. <laughs> She's going to stab Perfect. that uh, IKEA employee in the, in the face with one of her knives. But then she will continue into the... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that you successfully do that. You don't even need to roll. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you uh, stab the IKEA employee in the face. You see, just like the other one that was originally trying to grab the drone, uh, is dressed in some SCP garb. As you get close enough, you see that there's, like, some wires connected throughout it, and it looks like someone's made some hefty modifications to it. But mm. uh, you see that the MTF squad has started successfully pushing the employees back 
And if there's any time that Martha's going to do this, it's got to be now. <laughs> she needs some excitement in her life. So yeah. you sprint off into the store. <laughs> oh, oh no. What's that? A new anomalous effect. It's just, it's pulling me in for some reason. I bet someone better write that down. Uh-oh. It's... <laughs> A researcher Just, yeah. off on the side is like, I'm I'm writing it down. I got it. I'm writing it down. <laughs> I feel like I'm maybe being pulled in too. No, nope, no. Nope. My feet are. No, nope, it's just her. I'm writing it down anyway. <laughs> we'll get another drone. We will avenge you. So then Martha runs off into the store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're running into here, uh, it is currently nighttime. And from your research, you know that the IKEA employees become hostile towards people uh, during the evenings. Um, so you sort of are running into the store here. You're following the tracker. And as you get into the store, you realize, fortunately, uh, the spot where you've been dropped into in the, the warehouse uh, area of the Infinite IKEA, you are nearby where the tracker is leading you to where the teleporting staple gun thing is mm -hmm. uh so you are heading into there and as you're heading that direction from the distance you're at you're able to see that a flare shoots off into the air oh uh color me intrigued 